Hi, I'm Becky Streepy from Glue and Glitter, and today we're making rich, creamy, vegan Instant Pot pasta. This pasta recipe is super easy to make. It's a tomato-based cream sauce. It gets its creaminess from pesto cashew cream, which is a spin on my garlic cashew cream. It's really just a couple of changes to make it from a garlicky sauce to a garlicky basil -y sauce, and you are gonna love it. I recommend that you start this recipe by getting your cashews soaking. That way they'll be ready to go once the pasta is cooking in the Instant Pot, and you can make the sauce while the pasta cooks and then put it all together at the end. While your cashews are soaking, you're going to combine almost all of the pasta ingredients in your Instant Pot. Throw in a 28 ounce can of chopped tomatoes, a cup and a half of water, two and a half cups of penne, then add some Italian seasoning and a touch of balsamic vinegar. Give that all a stir and then lock your Instant Pot, set the little toggle at the top to sealing so that it can build up pressure and then set it to cook for five minutes. While the pasta is cooking, that's when you're gonna make your cashew cream sauce. I know that a lot of cashew cream recipes tell you that you need raw cashews, but I've actually found that you don't. I'm actually using roasted cashews in this video and I use roasted cashews almost all the time because they're easier to find and they're often cheaper than raw cashews. You just need to soak for a couple of extra minutes. The soaking will soften up roasted cashews just like it will raw cashews. So drain your soaked cashews and then put them into your blender along with another half cup of water, not the soaking water, use new water. Then add three cloves of garlic and I would actually say three large cloves of garlic. You could use five or six cloves if you are are dealing with tiny garlic cloves. Remember though that we're not cooking this cashew cream sauce, we're only blending it, so that garlic's going to be raw, and raw garlic does pack a bit more of a punch than cooked garlic, so keep that in mind when you're deciding how much garlic to use. Now add two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar to the blender and puree that mixture until it's completely smooth. If you have a high-speed blender like I do, that'll take about 30 seconds to a minute, depending on your blender. If you are using a regular blender, you can still get a totally smooth mix. You just might need to go for a little longer. So blend for 30 seconds to a minute, scrape down the sides of the blender to get everything back down by the blades, and then repeat that process. So blend for 30 seconds to a minute, scrape, repeat, until you have a totally smooth mixture. You do not want a gritty cashew cream. It's better to take a few extra minutes of blending. You also don't want to let your blender just go for an extended period of time because you can burn out the motor and then you won't have a blender anymore. Now that your velvety smooth cashew cream is ready to go, stir in some minced fresh basil and set that aside until the pasta finishes cooking. When the pasta is done cooking, release the pressure. But wait, don't touch that valve. When you're cooking pasta in the Instant Pot, I don't know what it is about pasta, but it spurts a lot when you hit that release valve. I recommend throwing a kitchen towel or a napkin over the top of your Instant Pot and then hitting the release. That'll catch all that spurting stuff because what I don't want for you is a huge mess all over your kitchen. Once you've fully released the pressure and you can open your pot back up, add six ounces of baby spinach, which is about five cups. You can also use any other quick wilting green you like. I've used baby kale in this recipe, for example, or Swiss chard would work well because that wilts pretty quickly. You don't wanna use a harder green like collards because that's not going to be able to wilt with just the ambient heat from the pot. And I don't want you to overcook your pasta because you're trying to get a heartier green to wilt. So stir in that spinach until it wilts down. If you're having trouble getting it to wilt, maybe your kitchen is very cold, maybe you left the pot open for a few minutes and it cooled down too much, you can hit the saute button on the front just to get it warmed up again. And then just make sure you hit cancel as soon as the spinach wilts down so that your pasta doesn't overcook. Now it's time to add that pesto cashew cream to the pot. Just pour it right in there and stir it in until you have a nice smooth mixture. Then season your pasta with salt, pepper, and nutritional yeast to taste, and you're ready to serve. I hope that this video has answered all of your questions about how to make this creamy tomato penne in your Instant Pot. 
If you have any questions that I didn't address in the video, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'm always happy to help. And don't forget to rate and subscribe. Happy cooking. Thank you.